<clears throat> Hi everybody, in this video we're going to start talking about finding the equation of a line in slope intercept form based on its based on its graph. So what I've got here is a picture of a line and uh, for slope intercept form you need two things. And I'll write down the form y equals mx plus b. Uh, m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Um, the slope you need to be able to, to count, uh, to, to observe. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to um, uh, try and find the slope uh, just by counting. I'm gonna find a point, obviously we've got this point right here that is zero, uh, negative two. I'm looking at, looks like this point right here is two, one. Um, so if you know two points, you can definitely find the slope because the slope is always the change in the y's over the change in the x's or the rise over the run. Here my y's are, let's say, one minus a negative two and then two minus zero. That's going to be a uh, one minus a negative is a plus, so it's going to be three over two slope. And uh, my y-intercept, you can actually just see flat out, it is uh, uh, b is negative two. So from that, I can put my equation in together, y equals three halves x minus two. That is a uh, slope intercept equation that is uh, coming from uh, the graph. Um, so let's try another example. Okay, in this graph, we have two points, but we don't explicitly see um, the y-intercept. I can kind of tell it's probably going to be two, but I don't know for sure. Uh, so we're going to actually solve for the y-intercept in this example. I'll show you how that works. Let's go ahead and write down y equals mx plus b again. Uh, let's find my slope first. I have two points, so my slope is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Uh, my slope is going to be, and I should label this, uh, negative 3, 3, because that's x is negative 3, y is 3, and then x is 3, and y is 1. So my slope is going to be able to do 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1 for the y's, and then negative 3 minus 3 for the uh, the, the x's, that's going to be a slope of 2 over negative 6, or we call, call that negative 1 third if we reduce it. Uh, so we're going to start that out. We're going to say y equals negative 1 third x plus b. And uh, then uh, you can solve for b by picking either of these points, plugging in the x and the y, and we'll do that here. Uh, y is one, you can pick either point, it doesn't matter. X is three. So one equals negative one plus B. Add one to both sides and you get B equals two. So uh, here we have Y equals negative one third X plus two. You can see from the picture, that looks like what we have. That looks like a, a y-intercept of two. So I hope this helps you out finding the y equals mx plus b, the slope-intercept form of the equation from the graph. Bye-bye.